Hello and welcome to another episode of Foodie. On this episode we will be making pan roasted salmon with creamy pearl onions and peas. And uh, you might be thinking, is she reading this off of something? Yeah, she is. I decided to try plated. What plated does is they send you all the ingredients you need to make two people meals. And then from there, you just make your meal. The nice thing is they give you this lovely little pamphlet of everything you need to know, exactly how to do it, what ingredients you need. And the only ingredients that I need to have at my disposal is olive oil, kosher salt, black pepper, and then tin foil and medium pans. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance. There are two cats that live here, so if you hear random suds and meowing, it's them. Um... So let's begin. For this plated meal, we're going to need ciabatta bread, peas, two things of butter, heavy cream, white wine, a lemon, pearl onions, Tarragon and thyme, two packs of salmon. Preheat the oven to 425. So taking the tarragon, you're going to take the leaves off of it and then finely chop it. You want to make sure you have no stems because nothing is worse than choking on stems while eating. <laughs> Chopping this up into fine pieces. Once you finally chop it, put it aside for later on. Take the lemon and roll it out a little bit. Get the juice moving. And you're gonna zest it, which usually you need a special tool for, but you can also just use a grater. Just... It's just getting the skin off. Don't want to get too far into the whites. Zest it and I would just chop it up a little bit. It didn't actually tell you how much to zest it, so be your judge on that. It's going to be later to add it to your salmon, so I'm going to just add it with the tarragon and thyme because that's also going to be added to the salmon. It looks something like this. And then take the recently zest lemon and cut it in half. Ta-da! We're going to set these aside, I believe, for later. So taking a nice size piece of tin foil, you're going to take your shibata fairly dense ciabatta. Wrap it up. Nice and neat. Ciabatta wrapped up. And you're going to place it in the oven to thaw or warm up a little bit. So about five to seven minutes. Now taking the ciabatta that you have, you're going to cut it down the side in any form you want to do. So as you see in a medium saucepan, we are heating up some butter. When it starts to foam like that, we're going to add the in the onions and cook until golden brown, which apparently takes about 12 to 13 minutes. Pour the little onions in. Make sure I have a spatula at hand. Break them up the brown bits on the bottom of the pan. Reduce uh, the liquid by half. It will take about 30 seconds, which I do believe it has happened. And now you're going to take, add the heavy cream in and stir to combine. And once it's all combined, we're going to reduce the heat to a medium low and let it simmer until the cream thickens. It's going to take about one or two minutes. So you're going to take two pieces of salmon and then you are going to sprinkle it with the rosemary and thyme mixture that you made. And put some of your lemon zest. Make sure to put salt and pepper on it to season. Now I'm going to add peas with the onion and I'm going to stir everything to combine. Try not to lose any peas. I am going to start hand roasting the salmon. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to turn a medium pan on with medium heat. And I want to put in about one tablespoon of olive oil. I don't use a measuring stick when I'm putting in olive oil, I kind of eyeball it. Adding the salmon skin side up. I flipped it halfway through. I forgot to show you. Sorry. I'm a bad candy man. So now that you have the lovely salmon cooked, take that lemon that we split. We are going to squeeze it over the salmon. Here is the finished product. I made the beautiful meal and I'm gonna taste it for you guys, tell you how it is. I have a piece of the salmon. Very crispy crust. Lemon is very strong. Wow. Little lemon. It's good. It's a little dry for me. They said medium rare, but I'd overcooked a little bit more, so it's more medium. Done. And I'll try the uh, peas and onions. They're good. I'm not a pea person. I don't really like peas, but they're really good in this. And the onions are really cool. It's different. I never really worked with pearl onions before, so this is an interesting and new adventure. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Foodie. Um, I really want to thank Plated. I bought Plated with my own money, but this was a really good and I would really suggest trying it out. I will leave a link in the description with where, you're, where you can find more information about Plated as well as all the ingredients that I used today. So let me know what you think about this. Did you guys like this? It's gonna be definitely another one in the future. Until next time, bye.